Hey guys, my name is Joe. I'm a tutor for Gear at the Valle Middle. And today I'm going to give you a small tutorial on how to find the number of solutions to an equation with one unknown. We'll go over equations that have one solution, that have no solution, and that have infinite solutions. So let's get started. Let's solve this equation. First of all, you want to get rid of the parentheses real quick. So you want to distribute. So 5 times 2x will be 10x. 5 times 3 will be positive 15. And then the rest of the equation stays the same. Minus 35 equals 200. So now we got positive 15 and negative 35. So let's combine those two terms. So we still got 10x. Positive 15 minus 35 would be a negative 20 equals 200. So let's try to isolate that uh, x by adding 20 to both sides, which will give you 10x equals 220, right? And our last step, let's isolate the x completely. So we divide both sides by 10, and that should give us x equals 22. So this is an example that you're more familiar with. Uh, you got one answer, x equals 22. So for this equation to be correct, x has to equal 22. There's only one solution. Perfect. So let's go with another equation. Another example. Let's solve this real quick. We'll do the same thing. Let's get rid of the parentheses first. Let's distribute. So we'll start off 7 times x is 7x. 7 times a positive 1 is a positive 7. And then the rest of the equation minus 9x equals 4 minus 2x. So on this side, we got 7x and negative 9x. So let's combine those two terms. 7x minus 9x will give you negative 2x. You still got that positive 7. Equals 4 minus 2x. So you might already see the issue here. But let's, let's keep going. Let's try to keep uh, the x on this side. So let's subtract this. Well, let's get rid of this negative 2x. To get rid of this negative 2x, we got to add 2x to both sides. But since there's negative 2x on both sides and adding 2x to both sides, that's going to cancel both of them. And you're left with 7 equals 4. Now, what does this mean? 7 doesn't equal 4, right? So when you get something like this, it means that uh, there's no solution to your equation. There's no value for x that you could plug in this equation that would have both sides equal to each other. That's why you're left with 7 equals 4. So when you're left with something like this, it means that there is no solution. Alright, <clears throat> so let's try another example. Alright, so we got similar equation, so let's solve real quick. We, let's get rid of the parentheses real quick by distributing. 4 times x, 4x. 4 times a negative 2, that's a negative 8. And the rest of the equation stays the same, plus x equals 5x minus 8. So we got 4x and a positive x, so let's combine those two terms. 4x plus x would give you 5x, the minus 8 is still there, equals 5x minus 8. So you already see here what we have. We got 5x minus 8 equals 5x minus 8. We got both the equations the same on both sides. Um, if you want, you could keep simplifying this. Uh, let's add 8 to both sides, and that will give us... 5x equals 5x, right? Let's divide by 5 for both sides. It gives you x equals x. And so eventually you get to this. It's not necessary, but 
you get one value equals itself. When you get this, it means that there is an infinite amount of solutions. So any value of x that you plug in here will give you the same thing on one side, on the other side. So quick recap, when you have one solution, it's the things that you guys have been seeing. Uh, x equals 12, x equals 3.78, whatever the case, uh, x equals only one solution. When you get no solutions, you get something like what we got before, like 7 equals 4, or 3 equals 3.12 or something. Like a statement that just isn't true. That means that there is no solution. And we have infinite solutions, that means that one side is the same as the other. Right? You could always end up with maybe 2 equals 2. So x equals x, 2 equals 2, whatever the case, that means that x can be any solution. So hopefully uh, this uh, cleared up some stuff, and if you guys have further questions, you could always just contact your teacher or visit tutor.com. So I hope you guys learned something. Stay safe.